You guys already put me in a good mood, which is awesome. Uh, exactly what I needed today. It's been kind of a weird day for me. It just started a little awkwardly and I haven't been able to recover. I'll tell you all what happened. I went to the mall this morning because I wanted to get some new clothes. And one of the things I had to buy was underwear. Now underwear shopping is already a little uncomfortable for me because I don't really like staring at all those different packages with pictures of half-naked men on it. But today I guess it was my fault because I didn't know what kind I wanted. And I was really high. Yeah, so I guess I was staring at them for an abnormally long time. Yeah, to the point that other people in the store started to stare at me. And give me really dirty looks. You know, like I'm some sort of creep or something. Like my internet at home broke, so I had to go to Ross to get my gay porn fix. <laughs> Screw the underwear manufacturers for making me go through that. I don't even know why there's pictures on there. I get how underwear works, you don't have to show me that. But if that picture is genuinely there to help us as a consumer, why are they choosing some ripped guy with a six-pack? Come on, that shit's not gonna look like that on me. Now, if you're gonna do it, let's at least be a little helpful, right? Let's put a picture of a guy on there with a beer belly. Yeah, this way I can at least see how the elastic's gonna look cutting to the overhang of my stomach. I guess I can just stop being bitter and work out more, but this is more fun. Now, actually, something you guys don't know about me. I actually used to be much heavier. I used to weigh 300 pounds, and the last year I lost 100 pounds. Wow. I enjoy getting weight too, so hooray. <laughs> you know, it's nice though, I run into people I haven't seen in years, and they're like, Jay, you're looking great these days, you're looking so much better. And that, that feels nice. What's starting to get on my nerves though, is when I run into my friends that are hanging out with their friends that I don't know, they always introduce me as, oh, this is my buddy Jay. He used to be fat. That's a fucked up way to introduce someone. That doesn't define me as a person, that's just one thing I've been through. You know, what if I chose an arbitrary example from your life and introduced you to everyone I knew that way? Yeah, what if I was like, hey, this is my buddy Craig. When he was a sophomore in college, he accidentally came in his own eye. It's a true story, by the way, guys. The reason I know that is because Craig called me the second it happened to tell me he came in his own eye. Which apparently is just something that white people do. <laughs> Inevitably though, after every show, people will come up to me and be like, did you really used to weigh that much? And the answer is yes. And everyone always wants to know what my secret is. And truth be told, I don't, I don't have one. Uh, all I did was start being more active. And actually, as of late, I've gotten into this whole active California lifestyle you guys all live out here. See, I'm originally from New York. And after being out here for five years, I went hiking for the first time last week. You guys ever go hiking? Yeah. No? So you two have partaken in the dumbest fucking activity on earth? <laughs> Jesus Christ, a name like hiking, I thought it would be fun. No, there was no obstacles, nothing challenging. We didn't stop to make crafts or anything. They shouldn't be able to be call it hiking at all. Call it what it is, right? Walking slightly uphill for a very long time. <laughs> Plus, you have to be able to read your body perfectly, right? Because you have to know when you're exactly halfway tired. Because you still have to turn around and hike back to your goddamn car which still somehow is slightly uphill. I think the only exciting part about hiking is uh, those mountain lion habitat signs they put up everywhere. If you guys haven't seen one of these signs, let me explain to you the rules of what to do in case you encounter a mountain lion. Uh, rule one, make yourself big and make a lot of noise. Rule two, crouch down and quietly back away. Those are opposite things! Essentially what the sign should say is, if you see a mountain lion, you're fucked. But since they can't put that, they just give you a list of options to try. My favorite by far though, rule number four. If you're with small children, pick them up without bending over. Alright, fair enough, fair enough. Let's say I'm hiking through the woods with a group of small children. Which if I am, I assure you there's a bigger problem going on. We'll ignore that for now. So there I am in the middle of the woods with my harem of children, and I see a mountain lion. I'm going to be terrified, right? I'm not going to be capable of rational, logical thought at this point. But instinctually, there are two things that I know. One, I am not faster than a mountain lion. Two, I am faster than every fucking child on this planet. Every single one. If I wasn't, I'd trip a bitch, I guess. I don't care. <laughs> oh, I know, that's awful. I shouldn't have said that part, huh? I don't know. The kids, they're just so creepy, you know? Like, I don't mean to hate on them as much as I do. 
And they, they have all their own things. They have so many stores nowadays. When I was in the mall earlier, getting banned from Ross's Forever, uh, I saw there was another store I never heard of called Bye Bye Baby. Have you guys heard of that store? Yeah. Now, some of you. I wanted to investigate since I didn't know. I guess it's a store that sells everything you can possibly need if you have a baby. And the second I walked in, I thought to myself, huh, Bye Bye Baby and Planned Parenthood should have to switch names. <laughs> it's just a misnomer joke, guys, that's all. No, don't feel sensitive. I don't think we should actually change the name of clinics to Bye Bye Baby. It's terrible. The only worse name than Bye Bye Baby would probably, probably be uh, No Child Left Behind. <laughs> hey, whatever. I actually really enjoy coming to the East Bay. I don't know why I don't do it more often. Uh, as of late, I've found myself doing a lot of shows up in San Francisco. And the city's fine, but it's not really my favorite at all. I actually don't really like it, but the one thing I will say is when you're there, you get to see and hear things that you don't get to anywhere else. I was doing a show on Broadway, which is uh, that street with all the strip clubs on it. And I was walking to the bar I was going to, and I passed a very fine looking establishment called the Garden of Eden. <laughs> and the doorman was standing outside, and he was like, hey buddy, how are you? And I was like, great, how are you? And he's like, good. Want to see some vaginas? What a compelling sales pitch, like of course I do! That's pretty much why I get out of bed every day. But just the way he said it, right, it was so formal, like, want to see some vaginas. I just got this weird visual of like a party platter full of them. Which wasn't so enticing anymore. And that's when I was thinking, like, why doesn't this guy advertise boobs? Like, everybody always loves boobs, right? Vaginas are kind of weird. And I know this goes against popular opinion, and I'm not going to be everyone's favorite comic tonight because of this, but it's true, right? They are pretty weird. And before I say what I'm going to say next, let me just preface this by saying that I genuinely do love vaginas. Like, all of them, regardless of anything. It's my motivation for just about everything I do in life. With that being said, as a society, can we please just be honest and admit that most of them aren't that sexy? Like, don't get me wrong, occasionally you see a very nice one, right? It's pretty, it's neat. It's like an organized closet. Everything's tucked away right where it belongs. You see it and it makes you happy and somehow brings you peace of mind. But most of them are not like that. They're messy. It looks like whoever lives there just shoves whatever they want in the closet all the time. Stuff's just pouring out and you're like, how will this shit end up in the hallway? I like that joke. Uh, I like it for a different reason than all of you though. I like it because I can always tell, based on the women who don't laugh that much, who has the sloppy closets. <laughs> That's my time. My name is Jay Stowe. Thanks, guys.